What's up, Ohana Exotics? I have amazing news for you guys. It seems like we're going to be having our first babies of 2020. This lockdown has got me pumped up. Check this out, guys. All right, so as you all know, the Vogels Vipers are, oh, the white lips are in here. Now I'm just gonna slowly stroll around. And there we have it, guys. Oh, come on, stupid camera. There we have it. A confirmed lock. Now that's what I'm talking about. Massive excitement. Massive, massive, massive excitement. All right, guys, and anyway, what this video is going to be about is we're going to be feeding a tiny, tiny, tiny little eyelash viper. And I'm going to be showing you guys how to tease feed and assist, well, maybe assist feed, because there's one Vogels that's looking a bit bad. She's not eating really good. So some intervention might be needed. I'll, I'll, I'll go over it obviously as we get there. But yeah, first of all, I'm going to show you guys how to properly, assist, uh, not assist feed, a properly, <laughs> properly tease feed younger boreal vipers to get them to actually hold on to that meal and to start taking that meal down. So in any case, guys, welcome to the channel. If you guys are new, welcome to Ohana Exotics. I am Eckhart and I wish you all a happy lockdown and a very uneventful time. In any case, guys, if you guys are new to the channel, subscribe, man. We can always use the followers. In any case, let's just jump, let's just jump right into this. It's going to be our first snake to feed. And this is the one that I'm going to be showing you guys with how to properly tease feed, right? So let me just get this in focus. All right. Let's see if I can give you guys a better shots of this individual. And there you have it, guys. So... That's a really, really tiny eyelash. She eats good on pinky pots. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you guys just how to get them feeding good on pinky pots. Let me just lower this a bit. You guys are on a tripod again. Uh, that should be good. Oopsie. Sorry, earphone users. All right, so. Maybe I should lower this just a tiny bit more. There we go. All right. So you guys are in focus and you guys can see clearly what's going on. So the first thing that I always like to do with um, tiny arboreals is I always try to offer them a whole pinky first, right? So when you offer them a whole pinky, if they eat it, that you win you're winning, right? But if that doesn't work, you can always just resort to pinky pots. So what I'm doing now is I am tapping the snake in order to get a bite out of it. Because as soon as they strike, you're actually going to be able to get them to hold on to that meal. Alright, almost there. A very important thing to remember with this, guys, is that you'll have to be patient. You cannot rush the process of tease feeding these little okies. And that goes for just about any arboreal that's out there. It does take patience. Once you get them to about a yearling to yearling or a GV size, you know you really don't have to stress about anything like this anymore. Because then they really, really start chowing down. All right, so you see that's not going to work. So because of that, we're going to resort to pinky pots. Now, why does pinky pots work so good, right? Okay, well that's very simple. It's a smaller prey item meaning that it gets stuck in their teeth. And as soon as it's stuck in their mouth, which is the goal you want, a feeding response kicks in. And as soon as that feeding response kicks in, they start chowing down on the pinky. All right, so all I did now here is, you guys didn't see it, but I cut the pinky up. So now we're gonna offer it a pinky header for a go. All right, let's see. There we go. All right, so that's, that's the first bite, right? As soon as you get them to bite and hold on like that, you are winning the process. Let me just turn you guys around a bit, bring you into a better focus here. All right, all right. Now you're going back this way. Okay, okay, okay. All right, so we're just gonna leave you guys here for a second, and then we're gonna jump into a bit of a time-lapse because this can and will take 
fight sometime. Now I do find the best thing to do though, before I before I start the, the time lapse is once you have them holding onto that meal, really, really, really just don't move too much. Try to keep as still as possible. If you can get out of sight, get out of sight. I guess you're back. Are you gonna tell me where you went? All the messages I sent with no reply. It's like that. You're just gonna walk into my room. I hate how you assume there will always be a place for you. So that first pinky pot's down good. So now we're gonna see if he's going to be willing to take a second pot. Now this is a tricky pot, guys, and the part that you guys need to remember is that a lot of times if you tease too much now after the first pinky pot they've got in, I'm trying to get you guys in focus quickly. Ah, uh, come on. Sorry guys, I'm gonna get you, there you go. All right, so what you need to remember is a lot of times after the first pinky pot, right, and you over tease it, they do tend to regurge the pot they already had in. So there's a fine line. You need to determine... Uh, there's a fine line that you should make use of to determine whether there is um, you're teasing too much or whether you're still fine. And you'll be able to tell in this next disposition, right? A lot of times you'll see them coiling up in an S and you'll start to see them from the bottom shaking up. That means they're about to regurge that meal you just gave them. And then it's better to rather just stop completely and have them at least have that nutrition and then two, three days later try again. All right, so here we go. Let's see. Important thing to remember is you really want to try to avoid pushing on that meal that they already have inside them, right? So don't try to push on that stomach pot. The stomach pot. There we go. All right. And then that should be another pinky pot going straight down. Let me zoom this out a bit. All right, there we go. Now you guys can check your meter. I'm not sure what the six is, but yeah, you guys can check check how he eats another pot.
All right, guys, we're gonna cut the video right there and we're just gonna make this a how to tease feeding video. <laughs> Sorry, guys. So there you guys have it, right? That's all you basically do is you just cut up, try feeding a whole pinky first. If they don't take the whole pinky, resort to cutting the pinky into pinky pods. Give them about as much pods as they can take, right? So by the looks of it, that tummy is already very full from just that pinky head alone. So the hindquarters of this pinky is gonna do the trick for this snake. And then uh, guys, if you do feed pinky pods, right? The nourishment on that is obviously not um, equal to that of a full pinky. So what I usually like to do is every third to fourth day, I'd offer a pinky pot. So yeah, keep that in mind as well. It's just to help them get to that size. And as soon as they double in size and they take whole pinkies, I go back to my same old methods of feeding every uh, second or third week. All right, guys. So from Hardy Exotics, Peace out, and then uh, have a wonderful quarantine, guys. Stay safe, be uneventful, stay at home, and uh, yeah, I'm going to be trying to release some content for you guys on a weekly. Cheers, guys. Bye.